hard truth to face, not that innocent We know what we did I'm a sucker for your love you guys welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing amazing i want to take you with me to my everyday makeup routine and share with you guys some of my techniques so stuff that i do for my lips my eyebrows and how to change the color and all that stuff and yeah i hope you guys enjoy so i'm gonna go ahead and put this primer on this is the primer that i'm using it is the one size secure the blur makeup magnet primer so i just did my skincare and i put some spf have my face moisturized i always like to moisturize my face obviously before my makeup next up we're gonna use the one size turn up the base bbb cream what i've noticed about this bbb cream is that it really does kind of blur out like your imperfections so if you need something with like coverage and all that then definitely would recommend this And I'm just gonna use a beauty blender. This is the Kosas. Kosas, I'm not sure if I said that right. This is the Kosas foundation. This is actually has SPF in it and it's SPF 25. I feel like right now my skin tone is like a mix of these two. So then this is the naked, um, the, the stay naked quickie and this is in the color 50 nn this is a concealer but i kind of used it the foundation because again this brand had sent it to me and i think it's a little too dark for me to be using as like a concealer so i kind of use it just like as a foundation Um, I use the soft matte concealer by Revolution. It's the in real life filter finish in the shade C4. And you guys, this is a really good like low end concealer. I feel like it gives off like a lot of coverage. I know a lot of people like to just kind of dab, but honestly, you guys, I like to go crazy with the concealer. Like I kind of just like to put it everywhere on my under eye. I have some dark circles and I feel like I need to get as much coverage as I can. And then sometimes I put a little bit in here. I should have done my eyebrows first. Actually, I'm gonna do my eyebrows before I blend this in and then I'm gonna finish the rest of my concealer. Guys, please excuse me, I broke my palette. So this is the this is the eyeshadow palette. This is the 18WT Matte Essential by Marth and Ghetto. Woo! The ghetto! I'm using between this color and then I'm gonna use this one right here. These two. But yeah, I just kind of put the color over and it kind of helps to balance out the color. Um, so my eyebrows aren't like too dark for this hair color. Now we're gonna move on to the concealer back to this. I feel like when I do this, it gives a more crisp look to my eyebrows. And I feel like it just makes it very like sharp. And I like that sharp look. So, I don't know. I know some people don't really touch concealer around their eyebrows, but this is how I do it and I like it. I'm gonna fix it, you guys. If you see like anything funny sticking out, trust me, I'm gonna fix it. Then I also like to do it here because when I do my concealer and then when I do the contour, I feel like this really makes it snatch. I'm gonna go ahead and blend the concealer so it doesn't look too obvious that I'm wearing concealer. I like to do these eyeshadow sticks. I recently just got these. These are from um, Heart Candy and it's like an eyeshadow marker shimmer. So it gives like a nice shimmery look. You will see how it makes the eyes pop out. Like if you have more of like a reddish hair color, eye color, I feel like when you use 
brighter toned it really brings out like parts of your features back with my little ghetto Mor morphe eyeshadow palette i like to sometimes use a little bit eyeshadow and i like to blend it i'm just gonna use a little bit nothing crazy and then sometimes i like to use this color too so it's not like too red i like that reddish light reddish brown color next up we're gonna do eyeliner so i've been using the kat von d eyeliner pen this is the waterproof liquid eyeliner it's the trooper and it's in the shade it's in the color trooper black tint you guys i am so sorry i had no clue that this part was not filming but basically i did my eyeliner and basically what i was saying on the camera was i like to try to make my eyeliner straight because i feel like it changes like the shape of my eyes kind of like i don't know how to explain but i have more like almond h like almond shape ish type of eyes and when i do the eyeliner i feel like it kind of elongates like my whole eye shape and i don't really put much here because I don't want it to be too thick around my eyes, so I kind of skip the middle part, and then I go to the inner corner, but I use my um, eyeliner instead of the marker. I'm just gonna lightly dab this on. And then sometimes I like to just blend it out a little bit so it looks more like natural. So it's not like too like sharp cut. Next up, I'm going to do my mascara and I'm going to use the YSL Volumize Mascara. This is the Lash Clash 1. It's so bomb. Now you guys, I'm so excited to show you this technique that I found from um, from TikTok. And basically, you guys can go on TikTok and like favorite a effect and like have it saved in your favorites. I'm gonna show you guys right now. They're cool. They have like, sorry you guys, excuse my very ratchet setup. As you guys can see on the filter, it just shows you like where you should start your eyebrows, the arch, and then like according to your face shape. And then same thing with the concealer, like where I should do that so i think that's such a really cool like makeup technique if you don't know there's also like a bunch of filters that you can find on tiktok that can help you like with your contour how you should do your makeup i'm using the fenty um concealer stick this one is in the shade truffle i'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my nose do it on my face as well and then I like to do it here because I feel like when I do my contour in here, it really slims down like my face. I don't want it to be like crazy. And then I put a little bit here. And I also like to put um, my bronzer. It's this gold bronzer. It's called the Bronze Goddess. I just like to take my finger and then dab it into my nose and rub it in a little bit because then it really kind of snatches your nose more. If you want to give your lips like a more fuller look and I think personally for me I have a very like oval like and it's not a bad thing if you have the same like lip shapes like naturally with me it's not a bad thing but I personally like the look of having that very like shaped type of look and also like a fuller look. I'm using the Morphe, the Morphe Soulmate color. I really love that reddish color again because I feel like it just matches like my features more. And I like to do a combination of like a light lip gloss and then like kind of like a darker lip liner. When you do this technique, don't start from the corner of your lip you're supposed to start here 
and then go around which I'm gonna show you guys take my lipstick this is the YSL pink this is the 44 lipstick now I'm gonna move on to my blush so this is the Kylie princess powder um, blush I feel like it gives off a nice feminine look this is the huda huda beauty um pound cake they sold out so much when i first bought this so i was initially trying to get the translucent powder but this is the easy bake um shade i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna let it bake on my face for a few minutes but i'm gonna take this out and then i'm gonna dab it all up here And then I want to show you guys this technique I learned with taking off the powder. And it, it really does give like this effortless finishing look. And then I'm going to let this bake for a few minutes. Now that I've waited a few minutes, the technique that I'm going to show you guys. So basically this creator, she went outward on this side and then... The powder went outward on that side, so I'm going to show you right now. She said it like created more of a smoother look. And then I'm going to just basically go back and retouch some stuff so I can get the final look right. Final look! 